Whatever colors you have in your mind, I'll show them to you, and you'll see them shine. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing the classic Lay, Lady, Lay by Bob Dylan. This song has a simple but very intriguing chord progression. I'll get you playing an awesome sounding piano accompaniment even if you're a beginner. Let's jump in. All right, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. There's a link down in the description. That'll help you follow along and see where the chords you play line up with the words you sing. And this song is in the key of A major with three sharps for the most part. And this is middle C for reference. Let's start out with the intro. Here is the underlying chord progression for that. And for each one of these chords, we're gonna play three notes in our right hand and then a bass note in the left hand on the note that the chord is named after. So for the A chord in the first measure, we're gonna do, of course, a low A down here. And I'm using my fourth finger. That's gonna help this all flow. And then for the right hand, I'm gonna do C sharp, E, and A. Um, I'm using my thumb, second finger, and pinky for that. Next up, we've got this C sharp minor. So of course, I'm gonna go up to a C sharp here in my left hand. And I'm already doing the bottom two notes that I needed for the C sharp minor um, here. We just need to drop the top note down. I'm probably gonna use my fourth finger there. So we got C sharp, E, and G sharp here in the right hand. Next, we've got this G major chord. I'm gonna use my pinky here in the left hand. Just put it down on that G. It should kind of already be there. Um, and then in the right hand, I'm gonna do thumb on B, second finger on D, pinky on G. And this G chord is actually stepping outside of the key of A major. And that's why I think it sounds so surprising here. It's a really satisfying chord that makes this song really interesting. And then finally, we've got this B minor and we've already got our fingers on two of the notes for that. Of course, my third finger in the left hand is going to step up to this B bass note. And then in the right hand, we can do G, D, and F sharp. And once again, we can do one, two, five, and then just drop down to the fourth finger when the chord changes. And we're in four, four times. So each of these measures gets four counts. So the whole line is going to sound like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it loops around a second time. Now, if you're newer to piano and you're not used to playing inversions, you might be wondering, um, you could totally do all of this with root position chords, playing the A like that, the C sharp minor like that, G, and B minor. And if that makes the song easier for you to play, you can totally go for it. There are a few reasons I'm doing these inversions. You can hear the organ on the recording is doing them, and it creates this really nice melody because you hear the highest notes being played, and we have this na, 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 just stepping down chromatically, which is really nice. And there's also the pedal steel guitar that's kind of playing along those lines. Na, 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 na. So I'm actually going to imply that melody a little bit. So this is kind of the next level for the intro. I'm gonna play it like this. So to do that, we gotta be thinking an eighth note. So instead of just counting one, two, three, four, we're dividing the beat in half, thinking one and two and three and four and. And I'm just doing these little melodies. So after the A to the C sharp minor, Na, na, on uh, G sharp, F sharp, and back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So same rhythm there, just stepping between the G and the F sharp there, and then to the B. And I'm gonna do that in the intro, and then I'm also gonna sprinkle it in in the verses. Speaking of the verses, let's take a look at that. So the verse starts with just four times through what we already learned. Um, Right when the verse starts, I'm going to start doing a little bit more rhythm. Um, in the right hand, I'm going to play on half notes. So I'm going to play on beat one and beat three of every measure. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If, uh, if you like that better in the intro too, you can totally do that. So verse starts, lay, lady, lay, lay across my big breast 
bed. So I'm just throwing in those melodies. Two more times. Lay, lady, lay. Lay across my big brass bed. So I'll probably throw in those little melodies more in those sort of instrumental passes through. It's sort of like you do it once with words, once without, once with words, once without. So then um, here's the next line of the verses. This is uh, where the drums kick in and it's a little different. So we're gonna go down to uh, E major down here. So that's gonna be uh, E, a G sharp and a B. And then with my left hand pinky, I'm just gonna play an E bass note down there. And we also need to play an F sharp minor here. Um, so I'm just gonna step up to my fourth finger here on the F sharp. And then we got black, white, black here, F sharp, A and C sharp. And then we're to A major, but we're actually gonna invert it differently this time. We've already got the top two notes here. And so I'm just gonna drop my thumb down here and we can go to second finger for the A down here. Cause that flow is really nice. Um, and then in a second when we embellish it a little bit more, I think it'll make sense why we're doing this uh, inversion. So we've got E, two, three, four, same rhythm we've been doing, two, three, four, and then it stays on A for two measures. It does this whole thing twice. This is the lyrics that are, Whatever colors you have in your mind. You're probably hearing the little hook there. Throw them to you and you'll see them shine. So there's a electric guitar that plays that and it's so catchy and memorable. So I'm gonna do it. The easiest thing is to just play it on the top note here, going back and forth between the C sharp and the D. So Whatever colors you have in your mind. And you could do that with those fingers or maybe one, two, four, so you can just kind of step into it like that. Rhythmically, you play on two and 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 four in the second measure. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. Now, if you really want it to sound just like the guitar on the recording, we're gonna add a low harmony to that. Um, so when you step up to the D and back down, we're also going to step this bottom E up to the F sharp and back down. Now to do this smoothly, it's a lot easier. And I think to do one, two, and four for the fingers here, and then you can step to thumb and fifth finger there and then back down. And furthermore, I think it's smoothest getting into this if you do the F sharp minor with one, two, and four. That way your second finger and fourth finger are already where they need to be. But this is totally optional. If this is a little bit too tricky, you can just stick with the easier version. So after the two times through that chord progression, the verse concludes with two more passes through the first chord progression for the final line of the verse. I'm gonna add two more details and then play the verse through. First off, I'm gonna do a little bit more rhythm in my left hand. So I'm gonna hit on beat four in addition to beat one. So we've been counting it like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna also do one, two, three, four, one, two. Just gives it a little bit more energy and movement. Two, three, four. Also, I'm holding down the sustain pedal. Helps kind of tie all this together, make it a little bit smoother and prettier. I just am doing a quick lift every time the chord changes. Lift, otherwise it gets too muddy. Okay, so here's a playthrough of that first verse with all these details. Lay, lady, lay. Lay across my big brass bed. my big brass bed Whatever colors you have in your mind I'll show them to you and you'll see them shine Lay, lady, lay Lay across my big brass bed
also, the one thing that was a little tricky there is getting from the second part where you end up on this A um, to the final two lines where you need to come up to this inversion where we use the fourth finger. So you hop up and I think it's okay to start that last line with your second finger on the A and then you can just kind of jump the second finger up to that C sharp minor there and that gets your left hand back on track. All right, so there's really only one other main section of the song and that's the bridge. But real quick, before we get to that, I wanna mention my course, Piano Chord Breakthroughs. It's a course all about getting different rhythms and patterns and tricks into your muscle memory. That way you can take any chord progression, something like the chord chart here for Lay Lady Lay, and turn it into an expressive piano accompaniment part that you can really make your own. I try to make my YouTube tutorials accessible to people of all skill levels. But if I was playing this song just to do a cover, I might embellish it a little more. Something like that. So if you want to learn my process for decorating and expanding chord progressions, check out Piano Chord Breakthroughs. There are links below. Okay, so let's look at that bridge. Here are the underlying chords here. Um, so it starts off with a C sharp minor, but this time, rather than doing it up here, we're doing one inversion down. So we've got G sharp, C sharp, and E. And then I'm gonna do the bass note with my left hand thumb. And it's on that for two measures. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now this next measure is interesting. It's all chords that we've already done in, um, in the verse, but the rhythm is a, is a little different. We've got just one count of E, two counts of F sharp minor. You're just gonna hold it for beat two and three. So the little dash after the F sharp minor is meant to represent just a second count of F sharp minor before hitting A on beat four. So that's gonna be like, one, two, three, four. And after that, there's another measure of A and it just kind of carries through. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to keep it simple, you can just hold that second A and maybe just play on beat three there, like I did. Or that is a spot where that guitar hook happens. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. Um, again, you can keep it a little simpler, just do the top note. So then in the second measure there, we've just got two measures of C sharp minor, two measures of A, that same way. And you can keep throwing in that hook. Then we've got the, the third line is just like the first line, and then the, the final line is just after the C sharp minor. We're gonna go to a B minor there. That's gonna be standing in front of you. That's gonna be leaning into the next verse. So only thing I would say there is you can just kind of fudge it here to get your fourth finger on this A when you go back to lay, lady, lay. Um, let me just play through that whole bridge real quick. Why wait any longer for the world to begin? You can have your cake and eat it too. Why well, wait any longer for the one you love when he's standing in front of you? Then just going into the final verse, lay, lady, lay. So that verse is just like all the other verses, just the words are different. And then we get into the outro. So outro should be pretty quick to learn here. It is just one line. Here's the chord progression for the outro. Um, so just one measure per chord here. You do the A just like we've been doing it, stepping up to a B minor. So different chord than usually comes after the A there. I'll probably do one, two, four, because that's kind of how we've been doing it throughout. And stepping up to C sharp minor. Stepping up to a D major. So that's the only time in this whole song we see a D major. Just, just D, F sharp, and A. You can use your thumb here for the bass note. And then finally landing on an A. But for the last chord of the song, we're not gonna come back down here. We're gonna do that other inversion of A that we were using for the other sections, but we're gonna do it up here. It's got a nice kind of bright sound to finish the song off of. 
And I might even do like a low octave in my left hand here at the end just to help the song land there. And the song is over. Okay, thank you for sticking with me. I am now going to do a full cover of the song so you can see how all the parts we've been talking about fit together. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It helps me reach more people here on YouTube. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one. Also, leave a request in the comments. Okay, here is my version of Lay Lady Lay. Lay, lady, lay Lay across my big brass bed Lay, lady, lay Lay across my big brass bed Whatever colors you have in your mind, I'll show them to you and you'll see them shine. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Stay, lady, stay Stay with your man a while Until the break of day Let me see you make him smile His clothes are dirty, but his hands are clean And you're the best thing that he's ever seen Stay, lady, stay Stay with your man a while Why wait any longer for the world to begin? You can have your cake and eat it too Why wait any longer for the one you love When he's standing in front of you Lay across my big brass bed Stay lady stay Stay while the night is still ahead